See that display that just took play right there? This is what we gotta go through to wake our people up, to get us out of captivity. Right. Right. It's the fact that we think we still free. We think that because we can wake up, go to the store, put that over there, sir. We think, we think because we can wake up, go to the store, and do these different things that we are a free people. Right. We are not a free people. We are mentally enslaved by doctrines here in this country. Right. And until we wake up, all of the kingdom stuff is, is, is good. You want to get the kingdom of heaven, right? You, you, you're standing here because the words of God are coming out and you desire to have what? The kingdom of heaven. That's why people go to church, right? Because they want the kingdom of heaven. Guess what? This is heaven. But you're living in hell. Why are we living in hell? Bring it up. Why are we living in hell? Why do our, our ghettos or where we live is full of the ghettos? Everywhere you go, to find your people, your cousins, your aunties, your uncles, why do your neighborhoods look like this? If you go to auntie house right now, she live in a neighborhood like this? Why? Well, she live in the suburbs? Is the same thing happening in that neighborhood that happens in this neighborhood? Yes. We are still selling drugs to each other. Right. We're still killing each other. We're still pimping each other. We yeah. still have the same characteristics no matter where we go. Right. Right. Get me a uh, uh, loop for in 17 real quick Bring it up. because we can stand here digging me john 13 35 get that first because what we're doing is showing our people we have to keep god's commandments to come out of this captivity to get out of the situation that we're in step down sir to get out of the situation that we're in we got to do what we didn't do that put us in the situation right. how did how is it that we were once the rulers of the earth but now we're degenerates at the bottom of the earth right. 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 how is that the brother has on a hat that says blessed. Are you really blessed? No, I'm gonna show you how you get blessed though. Read what you got. <laughs> Luke chapter 4 verse 17. Bring it up. And there was delivered unto him the book. Uh, Matthew 4 17. Yeah. Yeah, but right. Because I mean, but that's what you want. And that's true. We want. Right. That's a. Uh, follower of Christ or blessed. Are you living yes. that? But that, that's not what's going on. <laughs> Read. Matthew chapter 4 verse 17. You know? From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent. Do what? Repent. Do what? Repent. That is why we lie in the streets today. Right. To tell our people that we have to repent. Right. What does it mean to repent? Turn away. To turn away from what? From our sins. Right. We have to turn away from our sins. It was sin that got us in this condition. Right. It was sin that made this happen to us. Give me the picture. Right here. It was sin that did this. Bring it the up. brothers went over Deuteronomy. What? Here's the image. Here is what happened in Deuteronomy. Read it again. Matthew chapter 4 verse 17. Bring it up. From that time, Jesus began to preach and say, and to say, Repent. Do what? Repent. Repent, meaning turn away from our sins. Turn away from what this country has given us and told us that it's right. Turn away from Christmas. Turn away from Thanksgiving. Right. Turn away from celebrating the new year in winter. That is not the new year. <laughs> we have been lied to on all four corners. But men stand in the streets today to tell you, look, there is a way. There's a way out of this condition. Right. There's a way to enter into the kingdom that we so desire if we keep God's commandments. Bring it out. That is how we get blessed. Give me Revelation 22 real quick. Bring it Revelation out. 14. Let's show the brother. This is how you are blessed. Outside of this, you are not blessed. You are living in the land of your enemy, serving in captivity. Right. Read. Revelation chapter 22, verse 14. Bring it out. Blessed are they. They what? Blessed are they that do his commandments. That's an action word. It said, blessed are they that do do his commandments. Right. Blessed are you, sister, princess, when you do the commandments, meaning take off of the pants and put on a dress. Right. Put fringes on the dress. Right. Make yourself modest and walk as holy in the sight of the Most High God. That is how we are blessed. This is how we're going to get the kingdom of heaven. Read it again. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Come on. That they may have right to the tree of life. This is how we earn our right to the tree of life. If we are not keeping the commandments, applying God's laws to our life on a daily basis, we are not going to enter the kingdom of heaven. Would it be hard? 
Yes, because when you go home and burn up all your pants and buy some dresses and put fringes on them, your friends are going to look at you. Your family going to look at you. They're going to degrade you and say, what are you, what, what are you doing? They're going to call you all kinds of despicable names. Right. You're going to lose family. You're going to lose friends when you start serving the Most High God in truth. Right. That is what's going to happen. That's right. When you become, when you say, brother, I'm going to put on my wall like apparel. I'm going to stand up for the Most High God. I'm going to tell these young men standing on these corners that have fainted and constantly oppressed our people that you must repent and keep God's commandments. You're going to be hated, brother. Right. Give me John 13. 35, I believe. Bring it up. John chapter 13, verse 35. Bring it up. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. So by this, the men gonna know that we are disciples of Christ. Go back to that in uh, Matthew real quick. Go back to that in Matthew real quick because Christ came teaching what? Christ didn't just come on earth and walk around just healing people. That is not all he did. What did he do? Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. What's at hand? The kingdom of heaven is at the hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Right now to this day, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Right. That's why we're here. That's why we come out willfully to do this, go ordained by the most high God. Right. He ain't say go hide in, the, in, 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 in church walls. Give me that in uh, Luke 14, 23. He didn't say do that. He did not mention, hey, go build you a building and stand in there and, and get people to come here and pass the collective letter around so I can ride around in a bitten right, so that I can up. get me a, a $65 million jet. Right. That is not what is required in this Bible. Read what you got. Luke chapter 14, verse 23. Come on. Bring it out. And the Lord said unto the servant, go out into the highways and hedges. Do what? Go out into the highways and hedges. That's why we stand here on Pharaoh Road boldly. The most high God said, go out unto the highways and hedges and do what? And compel them to come in. And compel them, teach you, show you what you, the way in which you should walk. Compel them to come in so that what? That my house. So that what? That my house. What house? This house right here. Right. The house of Israel. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We make up the house of Israel. Come on. Right. That my house may be filled. So that God's house can be filled. So that we can regain ownership. So that we can gain, regain rulership of this earth. That's what the apostles wanted. Get that in Acts chapter 1 verse 6 real quick. Acts you know. chapter 1 verse 6. How, how is it that we don't realize we have fallen to the lowest state here on earth? How is it? Your beauty that was renowned before all men and women on earth. And now we have another nation telling you. The, uh, the author of beauty who ordained you with his beauty. Telling you how you should look. Bring it out. Bringing out commercials for how I look at this sister. Hair purple and yellow and green. Who gets to dictate to God's chosen people how they should look? Bring it out. We own this earth. We should be telling them you will keep God's laws or you're going to be put to death. Read what you got. Acts chapter 1, verse 6. Come on. When they therefore were come together. These are the apostles after Christ's death. What did they say? They asked of him. They say, asked of Christ. Saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? He said, what? Wilt thou at he said, this time? Wilt thou, wilt thou at this time, come on. Restore again the kingdom to Israel. Wilt thou at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? Yep. That is what the apostles say. That is what we say today. Wilt thou at this time restore kingdom to Israel? What is it going to take for us to become rulers? How do we get in rulership? We get in rulership by putting away the things that this country has given us. Give me that in Ezekiel about the beauty being renowned. What's that? Ezekiel what? 16. Let me show you. I'll show her the same thing. I'm not. Well, don't worry. We're not. We're not worried about anything. We got the angels with us. Right. That's, that's right. That's right. That's Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 14. What are we talking yeah. about? We're talking about the beauty of the black woman. Right. We're talking about the beauty of the black woman. Right. The author, creator, maker of heaven and earth, bestowing beauty on you, sister. That is what we're talking about. Read. And thy renown. Thy renown. Your renown. Come on. Went forth among the heathen. It went forth among all the heathens. Moab, Edom, Ammon, all the other nations. Your beauty was known amongst all of the heathen, heathen. Meaning people or nations of people that are not desired by God. Right. Your beauty, your beauty, the natural hair that grows out of your head, your beauty was what? 
forth, and thy renown went forth among the heathen for thy beauty. Your renown went forth among the heathen for your beauty. That's right. Because think about it. In these times, did our sisters uh, purchase hair or have wigs or these different? No. No, we had nice, big, beautiful curls because our hair, our hair naturally curls curls to the sun. Their hair, it died. The sun hit it, it just plop, flopped down the side. It and it got no life in it. Right. That's why it's stringy and all it shed, shed like a dog. Right. Because right. they are dogs. That's what the Bible says. I ain't say that. The Bible says that. That's right. According to God, they are dogs. All right. But your beauty, but, but is some more on that? Read that. For it was perfect. For it was what? Perfect. Your beauty, sister, was what? Perfect. Come on. Through my comeliness. It was perfect through God's comeliness. Meaning through God's beauty. Right. Through God's beauty. That's what his comeliness means. Get that. It's more. Read that. Read that. Which I had put upon thee, saith the Lord God. Do what? Which I, which I had put upon thee, saith the Lord God. God said that he put this beauty on you. Why would you change it? Read. But. But. Thou didst trust in thine own beauty. But we trusted in our own beauty. Now we have uh, uh, just for you commercials teaching our women to curl their daughter's hair, to straighten their daughter's hair, give them the give them a, a, a nice pink box, make it highlights on it, and color pops out in their face, and show them this hair that's not really theirs, that's straight, and it flows like the white people, because we're the real authors of beauty. That is what right. they're saying. Right. We are the authors of beauty. Read what you got in Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 13, verse 3. Come on. With huge beauty, if they being delighted, took them to be God. You heard that? They took us to be what? Took them to be gods. Took us to be gods. You know why? Because we are gods. We are not just average men walking the earth that think that we're real niggas, that think that we just we just the, the hardest gangsters on the block. God is the only gangster because he put us in, in, in tribulation. God is the gangster. The gangster is the most high God. That's who it is. We are sons of God. We have to come back to our heritage. Get that in our song. Bring it up. We got to come back. This is the only way we're getting out of this condition. We cannot no longer love. We can no longer love being on the bottom. Accepting what America has given us. Accepting living in low poverty homes. Why do we have to live like this? And they say, oh, it's because you didn't get an education. I halfway agree, because we didn't have the education of this Bible. Right, right. Psalms chapter 82, verse 6. I have said, ye are God. What did God say? Ye are God. You hear that, brother? Who, what are you? You're what? You need to know that. You need to practice that. Right. Because you are a God. Come on. And all of you are children of the Most High. And all of us are children of the Most High God. Come on. But, but, because we broke these commandments, but, come on, but ye shall die like men. Now we're going to die like men. Why? Because we did all of these things the brothers was bringing up before. We started marrying the other nations, following their gods. Now we worship their gods. Here you go. Right here. Cesar Bojel. Tomorrow, church will be filled with individuals worshiping Cesar Bojel. Now they're reading this Bible that says that Christ is black, the prophets are back, black. And the most high God is black. Right, right. Read. But ye shall die like men. But you're gonna die like men for breaking these commandments. Come on. And fall like one of the princes. And you're gonna fall like one of the princes, the people that rule right now. Come on. Arise, oh God. He says, Arise, oh God. It's time for you to come up out of this dirt. Right. It's time that you come out of this filth. Right. It's time that you learn God's commandments. Put on this commandments and start standing up for your people. That's we read right. that earlier, the Psalms 90, 94, 16, get that again. It's our job. Nobody else is going to come to the hood to tell these brothers, look, stop being a gangster. Right. Stop trying to be a gangster. Bring stop out. trying to be Crip, Blood, Pyru. Stop following after these things that have been put on us based on our enemies keeping us in this condition. We right. must come out of that. Read. Psalm chapter 94, verse 16. Bring it out. Who will rise up for me? The Bible says, who's going to rise up for me? God, what God has to ask the people, who's going to rise up for me? Why does the creator have to ask that question? Who is going to rise up for me? Because he gave you the earth in the first beginning. He gave it to you. It was yours. 
but you did not keep it with joyfulness and gladness of heart. We were not satisfied with being owners of the earth. Right. We were not satisfied with being rulers of all of the people on the earth. We right. wanted to do what the other people did. That led to our fall. Now we suffer in oppression in America. Right. Three. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Who's going to rise up for God against evildoers? The evildoers of your own people. The brother selling the drugs. Right. The brother that's getting drunk all day. That's evil. Right. Get out. The sisters that's in the strip clubs. Who's going to rise up for that? We don't want to say nothing. You know why? I don't want to be a snitch. The Bible says snitch. Right. right. The Dude. Bible says you better snitch or you're going to suffer the same condition as if you did it. You don't believe? We can read it. We can read it. When you see your brother going off, you're supposed to be able to tell that brother, bro, you're going off. Right. You're going, you're going off of what God says. I'm going to show you that. As soon as I read this, read Psalm chapter 94, verse 16. Come on, right? Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Uh -huh. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Workers of iniquity, those that practice evil works. Right. We say we want the kingdom. But we don't do what's necessary to get the kingdom. How bad right. you want the kingdom? How bad do you want it? You want it bad? You want it bad? Yes. All right, let's see. Give me, uh, hold that. Give me, uh, Corinthians 11. Let's see. see. Let's, let's establish some order to see who wants it. Right. We're going to find out th today. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Bring one. it up. Verse 1. Uh, we are, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be ye followers of me. Even as I also am of Christ. So this is Paul this is Paul speaking. We are representations of Paul. We are representations of Christ. We are representatives of the Most High God. Read right. it again. Be ye followers of me. Be ye followers of us. Come on. Even as I also am of Christ. Because we're followers of Christ. Come on. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things. Come on. And keep the ordinances. Keep what? Keep the ordinances. The ordinances. Now he's about to give ordinances. Let's see. Read. As I delivered them to you. Come on. But I would have you know uh -huh. that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of every man is Christ. Who's the head of every man? Who's the head of every man? The head of every man is Christ. Come on. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. Who's the head of the woman? That is the way it's supposed to be. But in this society, do it, does it roll like that? No, they say we 50-50 or no, I'm over you because you're a bum and, 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 and you're nothing and you can't get a job and you can't go out in this world and supply for yourself. But oh, this world gives me food stamps. This world gives me Section 8. Get out of my apartment. They place the woman in a position to be over the man and keep us in the condition that we cannot rise up above that. So they keep our community out of, out of order. Bring it out. the order that it should be. Read it again. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman? Is the man? Come on! And the head of Christ? On the head of Christ is God. Is God? Come on! Every man praying or prophesying. Every man, listen, brothers. Every man, we're talking about the man. Every man praying or prophesying, standing in the midst of prayer or in the midst of prophecy. You're in the midst of prophecy right now. We're prophesying that this kingdom is going to fall. As the Israelites will right. redeem ownership of this earth. Right. 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 Read. Having his head covered. Every man praying or prophesying, standing in the midst of prophecy or prayer, having his head covered. Come on. Dishonoreth his head. Dishonoreth his head. Who's the who's your head? Who's the head of man? Yeah. Read it again. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is Christ. Now jump down. Every man praying or prophesying. Having his head covered dishonoreth his head. So if your head is covered in the midst of prophecy or when prayer is coming out, who's your head? Christ. Christ is your head. That means you dishonor who? So what should you do? You should take your head off in honor of your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's that is right. what you should do. You see that? But will you do that? These are the simple things that will get us the kingdom of heaven. Right. This is how simple it is to see. It's not hard to enter the kingdom of heaven. Right. The problem is we won't listen. We're not listening to the words of God. God says if your head is covered, where prophecy is being spoken, you dishonor Christ. Right. So you're supposed to take your hat off because we're reading the Bible. Right. But if you go into the church, when you go into the when you go in the courtroom, what you gonna do? 
You gonna take your damn hat off because you respect that white man that's sitting up on that dang old, that's sitting on that goddamn uh, thing. Bring it up. That's what's gonna happen. You see that? That's how easy it is to get the kingdom of heaven. That is just how easy it is. These are the simple things that we must do to enter the kingdom of heaven. Right. We can't say we want the kingdom of heaven and we ain't willing to take our hat off. Bring it out. We don't want to honor the most high God in Christ by taking the hat off. Hey. That is so easy. Get numbers 15. Let me show you what else is so easy. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, read verse 5. But every woman that prayeth and prophesied uh -huh. with her head uncovered. But every woman that prayeth or prophesied with her head uncovered. What's her head right now? Uncovered, right? Read it again. But every woman that prayeth or prophesied with her head uncovered uh -huh. dishonoreth her head. So if your head is uncovered when praying, prophesying, or scriptures are coming out, what are you doing? We, that's, that's in it. We'll read that. But let's, let's get this understanding. And this is, listen, this is not a bash or a punch. This is love. Yeah, right. This is love. Right. This is real love. Yeah. Standing on the corner and handing out meals is not love. Not love is telling you, look, you're going off. Right. You need to fix this because God will put you to death. Right. right. Read it again for the woman. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered uh -huh. dishonoreth her head. So when the scriptures are coming out, your head should be covered. That's what your head should be. So these are simple things. These are simple things. And of course, not knowing this, not being taught this, I feel like I'm too far over. Go. <laughs> not knowing not knowing this is what keeps us in this condition. Right. This is what keeps us here. Give me Hosea 515 real. I know I don't got you holding a whole bunch of stuff. Give me Hosea 515 Let me show you something. Hey look, now you honor Christ. Keep our hand. Now you are honoring the most high God in Christ. Right. You see how simple this is? We say we want the kingdom. Well, let's do what's necessary. Right. Let's do what's necessary. Read this. Hosea chapter 5 verse 15. Come on. Come on. I will go and return to my place. This is the most like God. He said what? I will go and return to my place uh -huh. till they acknowledge their offense. God says I'm going to go and return to my throne and just sit right here until the children of Israel that I chose acknowledge their offense. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.